Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi viewers. Welcome to today's recap of the Quran competition. Alhamdulillah, we've gone through from the semi-finals and are heading towards the finals now next week, inshallah. And for this recap today, we have with us again uh, missionary Faiz Ahmed Nasser Sahib. Sakla for being with us. Assalamu alaikum Faiz Sahib. Sakla for being with us. Assalamu alaikum. Now, Faisal, last week you <coughs> really um, shared some really interesting gems with us in the form of um, viewer feedback and comments of um, you know the viewers watching this competition who are on on this journey with us. Uh, would you mind sharing some more comments with us, please? Yes, of course. Before I go into sharing the comments, I just want to say again that these are just a handful of comments that I've taken out. So let's just um, start. Uh, the first comment is from uh, Tajuddin Sir from Nigeria. And he says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We would like to congratulate our beloved Hazur and the respected MTA team for the successful organization of this glorious Qurani competition. Then uh, over to Canada, Shamsun Nisa Sahib, he says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. The Tilawat competition is very good and is going very smooth, alhamdulillah. Then Nadeem Rahman Sahib, he's locally from the UK and he says, Assalamu alaikum, mashallah, what a well organized and professional program. Mubarak to everyone. And then Alpha Deen Sahib from Sierra Leone, and he says, I always feel delighted when I witness such amazing programs on MTA. It started with the All African Quran competition. Now we are witnessing the International Quran competition. I'm so overwhelmed. Similarly, from um, Day Park, again locally, um, uh, Uwes Sahib, he says, Mashallah, one becomes emotional listening to these heart, heart touching recitations. My heart is melting. And then over to Jillingham, Yasser Sahib says, Assalamu alaikum. I found everyone really good, and I think the show is great. And then from the Voice of Islam UK team, from the Drive Time Show producers, they say, we are enjoying our lockdown by watching this fantastic program. Each and every contestant has done very well. Similarly, I've just taken out some names um, of the people who've written messages. Uh, we've got Bilal Salim Sahib from New York, uh, Shahid Sahib from Sharjah, uh, Bashar Ahmed Sahib from Norway, Asmat Sahib from Sri Lanka, Shafiq Sahib from Kerala, India, and then Yusuf Abdul Khalik Sahib from Ghana. And we have tons of tons of messages. I've got 11 uh, Microsoft Word full pages of just comments. Um, so we don't have the time to share them, but Jazakallah to everyone who actually um, you know, wrote messages and comments to us. Jazakallah. Definitely, and mashallah, by the sounds of it, this is a truly international Quran competition since yes. we've got viewers from you know, almost all corners the of, the, exactly, yes. of the world. Jazakallah, Faisal. Um, now, viewers, we actually had the chance to talk and meet the team um, behind the scenes, making this competition happen, essentially, um, before the second semi-final round. Let's see what they had to say. Assalamu alaikum. So it's five minutes left before the second round of the semi-finals begins and I am just outside the MK studios. Um, we're going to go inside the actual studio and talk to the host, see the judges and of course the camera cameramen. And then we're going to go upstairs to the control room and see all the people behind the scenes making this happen. Join me. So I'm in, this, in the studio, um, just a few minutes literally before the actual program, the show itself. Um, we've got obviously the host, uh, Reza Saab here preparing with Hafiz Fazli Rabi Saab, one of the guests. Reza Saab. Any words just before we begin? I, sound like I think it's just uh, enjoy the program. It's wonderful so far. The recitations, I'm blown away. How's it going? You right? Alhamdulillah, fine. Any words before we begin? How uh, was the prep? It's good. Alhamdulillah, everything's ready, ready to go. Yeah. It's And our last and final cameraman, uh, another brother here. Um, Asalaamu Alaikum, brother. Uh, how's everything been? How's the prep been? And are you guys ready? Yeah, good. Alhamdulillah, hopefully we're ready. Okay. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to the second semi-final program of the international. I mean, this is the control room where this is the hub where everything happens during the live show. Uh, we have a team uh, who does graphics, um, play videos, um, we have vi visual mixer, director, um, audio operators, so um, but this is how it goes behind the scene. Zakla, and now we have with us Ridwan Kahindisai from Nigeria, who is a finalist. Um, he's managed to get through from the semi-finals, and uh, he'll be joining us in the finals next week, inshallah. Ridwan Saib, assalamu alaikum. Uh, first of all, congratulations um, for getting into the finals. Um, what are your thoughts um, of, this, uh, of this competition so far, and uh, how has the experience been um, of this blessed competition so far, and, and uh, what are your thoughts going into the finals? First of all, I am very thankful to Almighty Allah for counting me among the qualifiers for the upcoming MTA International 
final Quran competition. I was very excited when I heard that I qualified for the last round, which is final. It is a good and great feeling for me because every contestant wishes to be among the finalists. But it was not everybody that would be chosen. So to me, it is a great privilege. The blessings of competing in this competition. The Holy Quran is my favorite book. Being a divine book which was revealed to our noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So in the light of this, being a reward of Allah, absolutely if I am participating in the competition of Holy Quran, definitely there is more blessings for me. Sitting in the Quran competition with the aim of listening to the reciter, the person who recite it and the listener both get reward and blessing from Allah. Similarly, any time I made mistake during my recitation and I am corrected, I feel comfortable because this will enable me to know it better. Hence, this will also attract reward for me and the one who corrected me. That is why, for me, being a participant in the competition, I see it as a blessing. Jazakumullah khaira. Zakhlar Ridwan Sahib, you're absolutely correct when you say um, these are very true words that it's only the grace of Allah Almighty um, that you're able to compete in this uh, competition and of course as you said that um, you know this is all a learning curve for everyone here. So um, Zakhlar viewers for joining us in today's recap show. We do hope that you join us in next recap show which is by the way after the finals and the finals is going to have a very interesting twist to it because the competitors will be joining the program live. Um, to give their recitations of the Holy Quran. Zakala Fai Saib and Ridwan Saib for being with us today and viewers as well. Zakala, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.